hello youtube viewers welcome back this is hassan slim now today i'm gonna show you how the message box works in ch visual studio 2013 so in this video we will learn about the different forms of message box how it works and why we use the purpose the properties etc so I'm using these tools that I have already covered in the previous lecture so let me drag the button right over there yeah I just name it BTN for my convenience BTN I just double click on BTN here now I click on message box dot show the most simple that's the sign text to show any message in message box message box dot show and I write the string value or string statement that I wanna show on pressing the button which will be show in the message box I write hello world and terminate don't forget to terminate any statement every statement we have to terminate in CH start the program here you can see when I click on button one it's showing the message box hello world okay now I can also I can also show there just like I declare into rm is equal to 32 I can also show the any integer value let me make it more convenience m is equal to 10 if I just want to show the multiplication of the two variables in the message box so I can cover it just like that I place plus sign to concatenate the string place two brackets m multiply by n dot to string to string is a method that will convert the integer value or the any kind of other type of values to string format now it's it will become a complete string now start message box start program I click on button here you can see hello word 320 320 is the multiplication of 32 multiply by 10 32 multiply by 10 and the resulting is 320 that is showing right over there now I just remove that now if I want to show the caption or the title in the message box I place comma and now play comma or separator and write what you want to show I type simple message box now if I start the program here you can see when I click on message button box here it's here it's showing you the simple message but the body of the message box is short therefore it's not showing the complete title okay now if I place comma and I just want to change the button type by default it was showing ok cancel now comma message I select message box button dot yes no cancel and start the program here you can see when I click on his it's showing me now you can see the body of the message box expanded so a simple message box complete message is showing or complete title is showing now there is three button yes no and cancel yes no cancel you can also you can also make the conditional statements on the basis of these three button yes no and cancel if the user press on yes what would happen if the press now what should be what code should be executed or what should code be executed on the pressing on cancel button so let me show you how you can do that 
before showing you that let okay oh, let me go you need to create a object of an a class that is dialog result i create dialog result dialog result result all right let me show you uh, first of all let me cover the button sign exclamation if i write there message box icon dot i just wanna show the information sign i can select any kind of sign just like an error sign question i select question and start the program here you can see when i click on button here the question mark you can see displayed in the message box I just terminate that program now dialog now I'm gonna show you how to you can make the conditional statements or the conditions if the user press on ok button cancel button or yes no cancel if press on yes what should code be executed if press no then what should be happen or cancel i need to create the object of a class that is dialog result i name that object to result is equal to message box that we have created by writing this line the result of an a dialog box the result of the dialog box will be saved in that result now I write conditional statement if result is equal to dialog result dot yes then what should be happen if click on yes I just display an another message box you can write any code right over there I just show another message box which will show you you clicked on yes I copy that code control C and V I just place else else if result is equal to no you click on no else else if yes no cancel if you click don't cancel the message box will be displayed that you click don't cancel now let me start the program here the message box appeared when I clicked on yes it displays you clicked on yes the code is executed on which is written on the conditional statement that if the user press on yes button what would what should be happen or which code should be executed if i clicked on no then here you can see you clicked on no 
if I clicked on cancel you clicked on cancel so I hope you understand the complete forms of message button how we can use and how we can use it in the conditional ways I think it's enough to describe about message box hope you enjoy and stay tuned don't forget to subscribe for further videos thank you